Chronic kidney disease, or CKD, is a condition where your kidneys gradually lose function over time. The two main causes of CKD are diabetes and hypertension, which are responsible for up to two-thirds of all cases. Immune and inherited causes and other reasons are responsible for the rest. 10% of North Americans, or approximately 26 million people, experience some form of CKD, and more than 25% of people over the age of 65 have CKD. The good news is only 3% of all CKD patients ever experience kidney failure requiring dialysis or transplant. Your kidney's primary function is to filter and excrete waste products. To find out how well your kidneys are doing, we measure the quantity of waste that circulates in your blood. This is called glomerular filtration rate, or GFR. The more waste products in your blood, the lower the filtration rate, or GFR, of your kidneys. GFR is divided into the five stages of CKD. In stage one, there is no or slight deficiency in kidney function. Stage two indicates a mild deficiency. Stage three is moderate. In stage four, there is a severe decrease in kidney function. And stage five is approaching kidney failure. We've developed the kidney failure risk equation to determine the probability of kidney failure for CKD patients in stages three to five. The equation uses your age, gender, GFR, and urine albumin to give an accurate representation of your kidney's risk of failure in the next two to five years. You don't have to be in the dark about the health of your kidneys. If you're concerned about the health of your kidneys, talk to your doctor and go to kidneyfailurerisk.com for more information.